Fiery horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver, the Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations, and nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. We're heading for Chief Thundercloud. I'll sing it! The Lone Ranger and Tonto had used Chief Thundercloud's magic belt to trap a gang of crooks. The belt had weird properties. It glowed with a mysterious light, and Indians considered it a good luck charm, powerful medicine. The masked man and his Indian friend rode north toward Thundercloud's village to return the belt, which they had split to make a headband and a hat band. We'll stop at the next water hole and camp for the night. That good. Yeah, we can continue in the morning and reach the village by noon. Ah, uh, and while we camp, Tonto fix belt again. Yes, Tonto. Won't be much of a job to sew it together. Chief Thundercloud be plenty glad to get belt back. I know he will. Tonto, you hear that? Ah, uh, me hear it. We're in a bush of a hole. Oh, 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 oh. There's a fight. Found that way. It's beyond that hill. Let's go, Tonto. Come on, Silver. Get him up. Scout. The masked man dashed up the nearby hill with Tonto close behind. In the valley beyond, two men in a wagon were fighting for their lives. Savages, Apaches of the fiercest kind, rode in a circle, firing arrows with deadly accuracy at the surrounded teamsters. Then from the crest of the hill, two horses charged, with the lone ranger and Tonto firing from the saddle. Come on, Silver! The savages broke their circle and raced for the shelter of the distant woods. Oh, Silver, hold on. Go, 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 go. See about that man, Tonto. I'll look at the one on the wagon seat. Ah, uh, me take a look. These men didn't have a chance. Steady there. No use. Where were you going? Powder. Gunpowder. A wagon load of gunpowder. Where were you taking it? <laughs> so long, fighter. Him gone too? Yes, Tonto. How about the other? Arrow. Through heart. Well, there's nothing that can be done for these two except to bury them. Oh, that's right. I wonder where this load of blasting powder and ammunition was going. Me not know. Kegs of it. Apache not want powder. Them not have guns. Yes, I know. Well, we'll do what we can for these two, then take the wagon with us. When we finish with Chief Thundercloud, we'll follow the back trail and see where the wagon came from. Maybe follow back trail now, huh? No, Tonto, I don't... Well, what you find? Tonto, look. This gunpowder was being taken to Chief Thundercloud. That's right. Here's a note to him from Sam Cooper. Him marshal to south. Yes, listen to this. 
Thundercloud, I hope the powder and ammunition helps you defend your people against the Apaches. If those savages conquer your people, they'll move south and conquer us. Thundercloud at war? So it seems. Toto, we'll not camp for the night. Hitch up Scout and Silver. We'll go on with this wagon. Lone Ranger knew it was hopeless to try and follow the Apaches. They were but a few of the hundreds that infested the region. Tonto drove the span of horses toward the friendly people of Chief Thundercloud, while the Lone Ranger rode in the wagon, examining the kegs to make sure of their contents. Come on, get them up, Scout. Come on, Silver. Meanwhile, Chief Thundercloud was discouraged. He called one of the warriors to his wigwam. Chief Thundercloud. Yoda. It is the end of the fight. Thunder rod mean little without bullet. Apache arrows are plentiful. And their bows more powerful than ours. For many moons we have fought and hunted with the white man's weapon. In that time, the bow and arrow of our fathers has become a stranger to us. Are there any braves who can shoot straight and far with bow and arrow? Only old ones. Then we are at the mercy of the Apaches at any time they attack. Attack cannot be long in coming. Village surrounded by Apaches. Ah, that is what our scouts report. Chief Thundercloud. Yes. Where is Belt that speaks at night? The Belt that speaks? One that speaks with light magic belt that has been with us for many generations. It is gone. All Indian ask about belt of chief. All say good fortune live in belt. I know. When belt is gone, and no use to fight. Is that why the warriors are so discouraged? That is reason. But even with the belt, we would have no chance to defeat the enemy. He is too strong. There are too many Apaches. But our braves would fight to the end. They would fight with courage, great strength. The belt will be returned. Uh, too late to be of help. Look. An arrow. From the Apaches. Let me see it. There is message fastened to it. I will read it. It is from Apache? Mm, yes. Mm. These are terms of peace. And those terms, what are they? The Apaches want me. You, Chief Thundercloud? And my magic belt. And the thunder rods. They can have the guns. They useless without bullet. But you not have magic belt. It is gone. The savages don't know it. They think it is still about my waist. Let them think so. Let them see this belt which I will wear and think it is the one that makes good medicine. But after darkness comes, what then? I will tell them the belt that shines with cold fire in the night only when I will it. That it is dark when I wish it to be dark. Mm. What will Apache leader say when you refuse to make belt shine with cold fire? He will be angry, but there is nothing he can do. He will already have given his word to leave our people in peace. He will insist that you speak to Magic Belt. I will refuse. He will torture you. I can withstand torture. He... he kill you. Then I will no longer feel pain. Chief Thundercloud, we not want to live when life is bought at such cost. That is why my people must not know the terms of peace. You will not tell them. I must. You shall not die to save us. Yota, for many years you have been close friend. Now you must see as I do. Why should all of us die when all can be spared at the cost of only one life? But the torture. There will be no torture, I promise you. I know a way to make this Apache leader give me a swift death without pain or suffering. That is all any warrior can ask. The Lone Ranger and Tonto were greatly delayed by the heavily loaded wagon. Even though they traveled through the night, there were places where less than half a mile could be covered over the rocky, hilly ground in two hours of time. Great, right, we're going, Tonto. The after sunset when we reach the village. Not right. We might make even worse time for the rest of the journey. Hill all the way and the wagon's heavy. Maybe better we cut wagon loose. 
Thundercloud needs ammunition. It'll be of little help to him without these bullets and powder. Oh, that right. Otto, it might be some time saved if I took Silver and rode ahead. Oh, you make plenty good time traveling alone. And I can see what the situation is. That right. Rain up, then. That's what I'll do. Oh, Scout. Oh, Silver. Oh, there. I'll get oh. Silver out of there in just a minute. We'll hope you're not attacked by those Apaches. Ah. It's nearly noon. By sunset, I'll rejoin you. In the meantime, I'll find out what's going on. Noon, with the sun almost directly overhead, found Thundercloud dressed in his bonnet of eagle feathers, a wide, heavily beaded belt about his waist, and beside him a small wagon piled high with old carbines. Two Mustangs were hitched to the wagon, and Iota stood close by. The other Indians of the tribe looked on with expressionless faces and felt no enthusiasm in what they knew was humble surrender. Now, all is ready, Iota. If only I could go in place of you. No, that could not be. My duty as chief is plain. I know. Now I go. Get up! Get up! Thundercloud, with his head held proudly high, reined up at the bottom of a hill behind the shelter of rocks where the Apaches were camped. He was amazed at the number of savages he saw. There were thousands, many times more than he had thought were there. The chief walked forward to meet him. At last, one with many eagle feather comes in surrender. <clears throat> My promise has been kept. And mine will be. Wagon is filled with thunder rods. But these will be of no use to you. We see. Without powder, they're useless. We get powder. Belt about my waist will also be useless to you. I take belt. (laughs) Take it. (laughs) With this, no one conquer us. We are now all powerful. Magic of belt is only for those who merit success. Make belt shine out with light. In light of sun, belt's light cannot be seen. Neither. Only in darkness does belt show light. Then we wait. When sun has completed trip across sky, darkness comes soon after. We wait. Tie Thundercloud. Make bonds tight. Unload rifles. Save till we get powder. You Thundercloud will show me light of belt. Soon darkness comes. Perhaps belt shines only when command is given. You will give command. By terms of peace, I gave you belt and rifles. Nothing in terms of peace compel me to make belt give out light. You will do so. If I refuse... There are ways to make you. After darkness, you will learn. Chief Thundercloud was tied until the darkness came. Then he was brought before the Apache leader, who was bitter with rage and anger. The bird is dark. There's no light. Make belt give light. The terms of peace. Say no more of terms of peace. You will torture me and gain nothing. Torture is of use with men who must be taught to obey. Chief, a bullet or an arrow which pierces my heart may make the power of the belt transfer itself to you. Hmm. Send a cloud is smart like red fox. Bullet through heart would kill at once. You would escape all pain of torture. Torture won't make me command belt to give forth light. No. And perhaps torture of one other than yourself. Perhaps capture and torture of people of your tribe. Ten of them at first. And if these do not loosen tongue, then ten more. And ten times ten. You wrote the terms of peace. You promised that my people will be left alone. May Groundhog take terms of peace and bury in sand. I will see Belt give out light if I have to massacre every man, woman, child in your village. You braves, go and get first ten you see. Bring them here. We will make Thundercloud talk. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Now to continue our story. 
Chief Thundercloud felt that he would be killed by the Apaches in their efforts to make him tell the secret of illuminating the magic belt. He was wrong. The savage leader of the Apaches planned to capture and torture the people of Thundercloud's tribe. Wait! Uh, so you are ready to change mind, huh? Do not send for people from my village. Torturing them won't help. Then you speak magic words. Tell me secret of belt. You will make it shine with light and total darkness. I cannot. Why? You must believe me. That is not the real belt. No. The real one is lost. I do not know where it is. It has not been in our village for many weeks. I do not believe you. You tell this so I will not be able to use big good medicine or belt. I speak the truth. Then why you come here with belt you say is not good? There was no other way to save my people. You have not saved your people. Go get ten prisoners. Bring them here. You will make belt so light or watch your people die by tens. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Lone Ranger and Tonto were side by side on the seat of the wagon. As they rode at top speed, the masked man told his friend what he had learned. Then... Wait, right up here. Right up, Tonto. Oh, it's coming. Oh, it's coming. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, there. Look down there, in that ravine. Uh, me see him. The Apaches. See how they fill that space between the cliffs? Ah, uh, me see him. In the center, near the fires. There's Chief Thundercloud, a prisoner. No way to get to Thundercloud people except through Apache camp. They've got to leave the wagon and the horses here, Tonto. Ah. Unload the kegs of powder. I'll give you a hand. I've got to fix some of that blasting powder and fuse. Um, what you do? Here, take this keg. Uh, he got it. The others are smaller. I'll open this one to start with. Now I'll need cloth. My neckerchief will do. Uh, here. Here, other keg. Put it right there on the ground. Uh, get them all out? Yes. And I'll help you get them fixed. First, I want to put some powder in a piece of cloth. And a short piece of fuse like this. There. That will do. Now another. Let me have the cloth about your neck. Ah. <coughs> Here. Uh, me tear it like you do? Yes. Make four smaller pieces of it. Ah, there. Now cut more short lengths of fuse from that coil. Uh, what you do? I'm going to get Chief Thundercloud. Then through the rest of the Apaches to Thundercloud's people. I'll light these fuses and throw the bags of powder ahead of me. They'll clear the road. In the meantime, Kimosaba, you'll have a lot of work to do. The savages made the most of their opportunity to watch their enemies destroyed. Thundercloud stood by a stake, helplessly tied, while the chief waited for ten hostages to be brought. You gain nothing by murder. You will make Belt give light when you see your people suffer. There, that way. Go find us. Hit him, hit man. He runs toward us. Send arrows at him. Kill him. Kill one who runs this way. Hundred savages reached for their bows. They strung their arrows and fired at the Lone Ranger, but the arrows were too late. The masked man had already thrown himself into the crater where Earth had been tossed away by the explosion of blasting powder. He took another cloth filled with powder, lighted the short fuse, watched it sputter for a moment, then threw it ahead of him. The savages fell back from the shattering blast. In the smoke that followed the blinding flash of light, the masked man raced ahead, running toward the next crater, where he once more leaped to comparative safety. Thundercloud! Chief Thundercloud, I'm coming after you! Be here! Be here! We know you come! Here's some more noise for you, Apaches! Once more, the masked man's arm went back, and a spark arched through the air. Howls of fear came from a hundred throats as the Apaches scurried aside. If only the bags of powder hold out long enough. Thirty yards ahead, Thundercloud was tied to a post. The next improvised powder bomb fell close by. Dirt flew in a shower in all directions, spattering against the eagle bonnet of the chief. But Thundercloud didn't mind. He saw the masked man dashing to his side, a knife in one hand. There's only a second for us. Here, I'll cut those ropes. There, you're free. That arrow came close. They'll all fire now. Quick, down here. Here we go. There, that's it. Arrows go right over our heads as long as we stay in these pits. We trapped here now. Not yet. I still have a few explosions for them. Stay next to me. Here, take this gun. Mm, this good. Me get leader of Apache. <coughs> now watch where it lands. When it explodes, run for it. Now, oh, come on. Me will you. Oh, they're beginning to understand the trick. Now let arrows fly. Me get thundercloud. Me show them. You go on. Me stay. Arrow hit me. Let me help you. You go. Come on, just a few more feet. There. Leave me here. Go save yourself. Lie still. I'll break that shaft off and take the point out later. There. Now we'll keep going. You're going back to your people. 
<laughs> Watch where that lands. Me, me see. Get ready. Now we move again. You go along. No, you go with me or we both stay here. I'll help you. Me try. Thunderclaw was weak from an arrow that struck him. The Lone Ranger had to almost carry the chief to the next pit, but he reached there with one sack of explosive left. So far, so good. Thundercloud, let me show you why you've got to get back to your people. Here, look what I have beneath my shirt. Take it, it's yours. Belt. Magic belt of father and father's father. Yes, it's been repaired by Tato. Let me put it in place around your waist. This all that Apache wants. Now me surrender. Me go to chief. Apache leave all Indian in peace. You can't surrender now. That only way. Indian lost all gun. Indian helpless. Apache conquer. You've given your rifles away? That right. Then we'll get them back. Tano is over there. He's waiting, Thundercloud. The next blast will be a signal to him. He's counting them. What Tano do? You'll see when I throw the next powder bag. Me stay here. You go to safety. You can't quit now. Come on. Get ready. There it goes. Me, me try. As soon as the Lone Ranger saw the last of his sacks explode, he dragged Chief Thundercloud ahead. But this time he didn't stop at the hole in the ground. He kept going, stumbling forward up the hill where Indians from Thundercloud's tribe were waiting. The belt around the chief's waist seemed to shine more brightly than ever before. The Apaches saw it when the darkness had obscured the figures of the men themselves. The leader of the savages cried out in hatred and frustration. There it goes. After them. Go after them. Bring them back. No matter what cost, bring those two back. The savages leaped to obey. And then a new force took up the battle. Tonto had bent down several lean saplings and lashed them in place. Kegs of the powder had been fixed in forks. Now when he heard the last of the Lone Ranger's explosions, he lighted a fuse to the keg and cut the rope that held the bent sapling. The tree sprang back, tossing the keg as if from a catapult in a long arc through the air. The explosion of the whole keg of powder was devastating. Tents flew from the ground, a dozen of them taking fire and burning like tinder. The attack from the rear dumbfounded the savages. They thought the blast must be heavy cannon of the army, which they'd learned to fear. While they tried to hear the orders of the chief above the yells and cries, another keg of powder ushed from the distance and fell in the camp. Ranger reached the friendly Indians with Thundercloud no more than half conscious. But the Indians saw the belt. The belt they had for generations looked on as a symbol of good luck. My friend with mask will give order. Where is Eoda? Eoda! Me here! You'll have to take command. Thundercloud's been wounded, but he'll recover. Come here, step forward. What reason for big noise? The Apaches are being driven toward you. They've been practically stampeded with fear. Take the belt, wear it. Tell your braves to rush toward the enemy and fight with spears and knives. Fight and they will win. Yota saw the belt. He knew that new life had been given his discouraged friends. Now every brave in the tribe was ready to fight to the finish, no matter what the odds. They leaped to the backs of unsaddled mustangs. They grabbed spears, knives, tomahawks, bows and arrows, anything that could be used as a weapon. Then they charged ahead to meet the panic-stricken savages. War cries split the night. Chief Thundercloud was able to sit at the crest of the hill and watch the battle in the light of burning wigwams. He saw his tall, masked friend charging among the Indians, fighting his way toward the bottom of the hill. And then he saw Tonto. The Indian drove the horses forward to the Lone Ranger, who leaped to the wagon. That way, Tonto. That's where the rifles are. A wagon load of them. Uh, me coming now. There's ammunition enough to supply the Indians. That will turn the tide of battle. While Tonto loaded rifles, the Lone Ranger unhitched Silver. He leaped to the saddle. Steady. Give me what rifles are loaded. Right here. here I'll load some more. I'll be back for them. Come on, Silver. Right through them, boy. All right, big fella. Faster, Silver. Faster. Fiona. Fiona. Who, Silver? Who? Who? Here, loaded rifles. Yakuna. Pass them to your fighters and follow me. Come on, Silver. I'll take these. Load more of them, Tano. Uh, me fix them. Yoda, here are more rifles. Send two men to help Tano load. Back there, big wolf. Go help load rifles. Now you can beat them. The 
fight was quickly ended when Chief Thunderclaw's braves got rifles. In the night, the warriors trooped back to the village, each man guarding half a dozen prisoners. Tonto dressed the chief's wound and bandaged it. Then he ordered a step forward. Here is belt. I return to chief. Now there will be peace and happiness. Chief Thundercloud, what are you going to do with all the prisoners? Send to far off valley. If prisoners go there and live in peace, no harm come. Those who not live in peace, we punish. Good. Soon as belt of magic comes back, fortune smiles on people. Iota, it is not belt which makes good fortune. Mm. Good fortune come only when belt here. Lone Ranger bring belt. Lone Ranger bring victory. Belt no help without Lone Ranger. Mm. Good fortune come only when belt here. Let him think that, Chief Thundercloud. Confidence in oneself is a great thing to have. The belt gives your people confidence, and they are strong. Ready to leave, Tonto? Huh? Me ready. Get him up, Scott. Come on, Silver. Maybe other Indian think belt help him. Me, no truth. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.